Welcome everyone. This is Chloe with Cousin DIY. Pony bead rings melted in a hair flat iron are really trending now. So we decided to give it a try using some of our pony beads. So the first step is to protect both sides of the hair flat iron. And I found um, parchment paper worked well if I used packing tape to catch it on the back sides of each bar of the flat iron. And that way it won't stick. The first beads I think we'll try are our opaque pony beads and I'm going to do a a random assortment of alternate pink and orange. I did try this uh, briefly before and I discovered that for my ring size, I'm about a nine, I need eight pony beads. And seven pony beads makes a ring approximately size seven. So you'll have to play with it if you try this at home to find out what works best for your finger. I'm also gonna use a ring mandrel, but if you don't have a ring mandrel, you could find some kind of a uh, tube or uh, something round approximating the size of your finger to wrap this around uh, after it gets heated up. So I have my hair flat iron all heated and I'm going to place my pony beads in a straight row touching and I'm using tweezers to help me with this if I need to reposition something Okay, that looks pretty straight. Time to touch. And now I'm going to close it. And eventually you start to smell the plastic as it gets hot. You can raise it up. You want to keep it squeezed together. You want them to start to melt, but not totally melt, of course. I can start to smell it. Probably not a good thing to smell it, but it won't be hot for long. Okay, let's take a look. I don't know if you can see that. I want to melt it a little more, but they're all starting to melt together. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And now I'm going to use these tweezers. off, wrap it around the barrel. Now it's warm to the touch, it's quite hot. So I'm using paper towel to protect my fingers and press that around the barrel of the, bead, of the uh, ring mandrel. And it doesn't take long for this plastic to harden, the acrylic to harden once it cools off. Oh, it's a little, 
It's got a little shape all its own there, but it fits my finger. So that's a look you get with alternating opaque beads. If I had been a little more careful, it might, might have not been a little cockeyed like it is. Let's try one more ring using, whoops, these pearlescent pony beads. I think they're really pretty. All right, I'm gonna line up eight different color beads, pearlescent pony beads. You wanna be careful that your finger doesn't touch the top element. Seven, what do I want my eighth color to be? white or light blue. No, I already used that. Let's do white. I want to make sure they're lined up. Oops. This blue one is giving me a little bit of a hard time. Of course, I had them perfect. Patience. Okay, let's give this a try. You wouldn't want young children doing this. Teenagers, you should be able to be careful and be fine. Perfect. See what those look like? And we're going to carefully lift them off. And try to be as quick as possible. Once they start to harden, they harden fast. Well, I'm liking the way this one's coming out. Still a little warm to the touch. There we go. I like the colors in that one. I'm gonna go ahead and off camera, I'm gonna make up a few more rings and we'll be right back and I'll show you what we came up with. There you go. These are really fun to make. As you see, they, they go together really fast. You just have to be careful and cautious. 
I particularly am fond of the pearlescent pony beads, but I like the other ones too, the primary colors and the opaque. If you decide to make your own pony bean rings, please share them with us on Instagram at hashtag create with cousin. Thanks for joining us today. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.